Hi, this is Dan from the Book Creator team. Today we're going to look at how to make a comic book in Book Creator and then send it to explain everything to create a fun video. So here I am in Book Creator. I've started making my comic book already and I'm going to add a few elements here. So first of all I'm going to start in the top left in panel one and I'm going to add a um, speech bubble of the astronaut saying goodbye. So I'll tap the plus button, you'll see all the new elements we've added to the comic book creator, new in the latest update with book creator. So I'm going to tap on the speech bubble and um, tap, type in my text goodbye. That's good. Now let me just put this into place, I'm going to resize it. And you see we can resize and um, adjust the position of the, the arrow as well. And so, okay, that looks good, happy with that. So let's move on to the next panel, and I think we need something that looks like the the blast off is happening. So I'm gonna tap the plus button and tap more, and you'll see we have stickers. So let's choose a sticker, and we'll go for the the yellow explosion and put that in place, that looks good. And now moving on to the third panel, so, it looks like our astronaut is a little bit lost, so let's add some text that reflects that. We're going to add this stylish text. Let's add uh oh, um, not uh, let's change that. Uh oh, uh -oh. tap done and let's put that in place. Okay, that's good. And now the last panel, I'm going to add a caption to reflect the successful landing on the moon. So tap plus, add text, and choose caption. Let's type one small step for now. Okay, and then we can just move that into position and you can see it aligns in place. You see the little green lines there. So that's good. And now the last thing I'm going to do is change the background. So with nothing selected I tap on the inspector and you can see I have all these options for the background. Let's choose a nice yellow one. Good. And now we're finished. So now I want to send this page to the Explain Everything app and to do that I need to export it as a PDF. So I'm going to tap on the My Books link in the top left of the toolbar and that will take me to the My Books page and I, now I can tap the ex export icon beneath my book, choose Export as PDF and choose Single Pages. I'm going to tap Open In and now I can find Explain Everything from the list of apps to send to. Tap that copy to explain everything and it will open as a PDF and explain everything. So now I can take advantage of explain everything's pan and zoom capabilities and I'm going to record an animation effect of moving between the panels of the comic. So let's start by positioning the canvas on the first panel. Um, making sure that that panel fills up the frame and that will be useful later when I uh, zoom out and then zoom back in again it will remember the position of the canvas as I've chosen it now. So now I'm going to select the pan and zoom tool which is the magnifying glass in the left and that will help me to get a nice smooth motion as I move the canvas with my finger. So let's tap record at the bottom and start recording and now I'm going to manually move the panel from one to the next, just taking my time and doing it nice and slowly um, so it fits on in the, the full screen. And I'm going to zoom out with a pinch with a pinching motion. And then if I double tap on this third panel, it will smoothly zoom in because of the position I set the first. Uh, panel in for the canvas and I'm now going to export this animation as a video to my iPad's camera roll 
So if I tap on the export bot, uh, button at the bottom right, we see that the video option is already selected, but um, I'm going to just tap, toggle off the all slides and choose the one slide that I want to export and tap confirm. And then to get it in my iPad photo library, I'm going to tap the photos icon there and the, um, the animation will compress and export to my iPad camera library. So while it does that, let me just talk about one final idea that you can do. Um, now you notice that when I was manually moving the canvas between the panels, I didn't get a particularly smooth um, movement. So what I've done for the purpose of this video is um, export the, the finished video from my um, iPad library into Final Cut. Um, you could do it on iMovie on the iPad instead. And I've just smoothed uh, and sped up the transitions between the panels and um, you can see that the effect that you can achieve and you can you can tweak that over time and, and play around with it and this is just a, a demonstration to show you what you might be able to do so once this is exported I'll show you uh, my effort um, with full music and sound effects and um, smooth transitions between the panels and you can see what might be achieved Thank you.